Welcome to This Video Can Save You Thousands in a Divorce. I am using this video to launch my new course, and it is titled, This Course Can Save You 10,000 Plus in a Divorce. It is based on five plus years of coaching men and coaching a lot of them through divorce. If you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button and wait to the end. I've got one of the tips in the course at the end of this video that this one mistake causes a lot of expense and a lot of misery for guys, okay? So I've been coaching men for years on this. I seem to be the coach who has gravitated towards this, but not every man can afford one-on-one -on -one coaching. Yes, I've helped men save their marriages, but I also have coached them through a divorce when that happens. And to be honest, most men, when they hear, I love you, but I'm not in love with you, I want a separation or I want a divorce, it catches them off guard and quite honestly throws them for the biggest loop, even if they weren't overly happy. They just, it's like uh, out of left field for them. Now the problem is, first problem is, men do everything wrong. They hover, they, we call it hummingbird, checking, is everything okay, what can I do? do all the chores, and none of this does anything to heal the marriage or help your situation. It actually hurts it. But that's a different topic. Uh, that could be addressed in the Failing Marriage Recovery Plan. There'll be a link below for that as well. And I want to give you one tidbit when it comes to divorce, that, uh, that the mistake that costs thousands, and you can save yourself this misery. You're separated, or you have an in-house separation, you're pending divorce, things are going along fairly amicably, and then you decide to start dating. Even if she says it's okay. Even if she's dating. And here's what happens very often. Suddenly, you're real happy because you found somebody you like and then her relationship ends and then she gets mad she actually gets pissed off that you're dating somebody and it gets flipped around and turned on you even though she's the one who asked for the divorce she said it's fine for both of you to date and she said that because she was dating so while there are some exceptions to this rule as a general rule, wait until the divorce is done before you start dating. Work on yourself for yourself. Grow, level up so that you're ready when the time comes, but you're also not in a hurry to date and you're not looking to date. I have seen, I can't even count how many amical divorces getting near the finish line and he starts dating and everything gets blown up and it costs a lot of money when that happens so don't put yourself in this situation don't date till the divorce is over and if you've heard oh my gosh I don't I'm in love with you but I don't love you anymore I want a separation divorce I price this course less than an attorney consult so it'll be affordable for guys so that they can get some guidance and help in this stressful time. If you have any questions, you can reach out below. Thanks, guys, and have a great week.